Wildcat fans, we're here with the Hossel Student of the Week. This segment sponsored by Roofmasters and your local Hossel Sonic. We're here today, Guy Walker, myself, with Miss Carolyn Hell. Miss Carolyn, how are you today? Good, how are you? Doing well, and I, we're going to get into the whole academics of it, but one of the things I've heard a lot of, Carolyn, is that you play a multitude of sports. And so tell me, tell me what all sports, and tell the people at home, what all sports do you do? I run cross country and track and play soccer and tennis. So my first question that I have for you in that, because we're going to talk about some of your achievements in those sports, but how do you maintain academics? How do you maintain any kind of a social life? How do you maintain a family life when you're doing all of those sports? Well, definitely a lot of communication with coaches and coordinating practices and then not procrastinating is key. <laughs> yeah. tell, tell me about a typical day of Carolyn Hale. You wake up in the morning, come run 50 miles or something like that, and then go hit the tennis ball. Tell me a typical day of Carolyn Hale. Well, two days a week, I get up to school at 6 a.m., and we run. And then during athletics, I'll alternate between soccer and tennis, and then play matches, and then weekends, I'll run a meet. Also, you got plenty of time to do all kinds of things, then. <laughs> Every now and then. Every now and then. And I'm going to put you on the spot here, and the best way to answer this if you feel uncomfortable is to say all of them, okay? <laughs> but do you have a sport that you consider your favorite out of all the sports that you compete in? Yes, I do. Uh, and you feel comfortable telling yes. the people at My home? My favorite sport is soccer. Is soccer. soccer. Yes, but then the one I'm like most competitive in like individually is definitely cross country. So tell me some of your achievements that you've had in cross country, soccer, some of your awards that you've gotten. Tell me, I know you were a state qualifier in cross country. Yes. So what do you have to do to be a state qualifier in cross country? Yes, so definitely I trained a lot sophomore year and then freshman year it was more of like just going out there and seeing what I could do and just like focusing and buckling down when it counted like at regionals like that's your one shot so you just focus and go get it so for the fans at home who are like myself that think running five yards is a lengthy a amount of time yes, sir. How, an average cross-country mate how far do you run a 5k so three miles so a little over three miles and then so what is your time in that the, your best time that you've got in that that three a five k. My PR is an 1851. An 1851. I can't even, I can't even drive that. Uh, I'm not getting a mile no. in 1851. No. So another thing that I have, I've heard that you you excel on all of the fields courts that you're on, but I also heard that you're one of the top five students in your class. Is that right? Yes, sir. And is that something that comes natural to you? You said a big word while ago about not procrastinating. And is it something you have to dig when you go home every night or does schoolwork kind of come natural to you? It was definitely natural like freshman and sophomore year. And then as I started getting into those APs, I started having to study more and then just definitely schedule like i have a calendar that i write everything in yes yeah so not only is she running so running five miles a day we're hitting 40 tennis balls <laughs> we're kicking the soccer ball everywhere we're studying half an hour number three in the class that's a pretty pretty typical day i would think so when you get older what are, do you know what you want to do what are your dreams or we have we got to that spot yet no sir i've been right now i'm trying to decide about where i want to go but yeah. So, so we're, do we have anybody that we're looking at right now? Yes, definitely Ole Miss because that's where my parents oh, went. Hotty toddy there. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And then University of Georgia is looking pretty okay. cool. Okay. Okay. But we'll see. Well, um, last question that I have. So, in all of this, what is is the? Do you enjoy all these sports? Being around your teammates. Is it something that is just driven in you? What's your favorite part about being in athletics or at school here at Hallsville High School? My favorite part is definitely my teammates. Like my freshman year coming into this big school, soccer and tennis really just gave me a home and upperclassmen to look up to and mentor me, whether that's giving homework advice or like even where my next class was, just having that family and knowing all those girls were, had my back was definitely the biggest benefit. Well, Ms. Carolyn, thank you for joining us here, Student of the Week. We're proud of everything that you've done here at Hallsville. want to say a big thank you guys to Roofmasters and our local Hallsville Sonic. They've always been a big supporter. Carolyn, Guy, again, thank y'all for so much for everything y'all do.